Hello and welcome to the video about 5 cool features about pegs in Toonboom Harmony. Before we begin, I have opened the node view, camera view, timeline and node library. If you are missing any of this tool, just simply press plus icon here and select the window that you need or from the window tab here, select the window that you need. Before we begin, let's just create packs in various ways. My favorite one is to select the layer and press Ctrl P on the keyboard to create a pack connected to the layer and named after this layer. The second one will be to select the layer on the timeline and press this plus icon add pack which will do exactly the same thing. The third way is from the node library select the peg on the favorite tab or from the move tab just simply drag and drop it on the node view and connect it as you can see it's not connected and it's not named after the layer and also if you will select or not the peg and right click somewhere you can insert from the move tab peg and from the favorite peg and it will do the same it's not connected and named after correctly so the first cool feature uh, that i want to talk about is creating multiple pegs using a shortcut so if you can select couple layers and you will press ctrl shift p you will create three pegs named after and connected to layers right now all the three pegs are selected so if you will press ctrl p one more time all of them will be connected to the new peg that's just created and I, I really love doing that and it's speeding up the workflow so much. The second cool feature about pegs is paths. You can access to the paths by clicking show control. If you don't have this window here you can right click and press the camera view which will open the window for you. Let's create some keyframes here and let's do some animation move the pivot point and you will have the animation here if you have selected this peg and press show control or shift 11 on the keyboard you will have path that this object is going through if you will right now select the peg somewhere select the frame somewhere and move this somewhere this path will bend automatically like a Bezier curve. It's because as default is 3D path. What it means when you will press this plus icon here, you can see the X, Y and Z positions are in one keyframe right now. You can change it by selecting separate. And as you can see, everything disappears because actually it contains uh, separately all the information of the movement so for the separate everything is clear here so you have to create f6 for everything make the movement and if you will create a keyframe here you will have this keyframe as the linear motion and because it's separate you can move separately position x and position y and position z on the timeline separately with that being said, let's move to the third thing, which is coordinate and control point. We'll be talking about this window here, and if you don't have it, you can right click somewhere and there is a coordinate and control point. What is good coordinate window for if you will, for example, have multiple pegs somewhere and something will be like scaled and something will be rotated, you can actually see what is happening without even entering this plus icon and the properties here and i really love to do this window just for checking what's happening with shift r you can actually reset the position of the peg okay let's now move to the control point the only one thing that you might use for the control point and just to let you know, control points are these little dots here. So you can move them without being on the right keyframe. 
but just selecting the transform tool and selecting the control point you can do whatever you want with your animation and this green little dot will tell you where your animation is at right now what frame is it okay uh, as i said control point will be useful if you will set the 3d path okay and with selecting the control point you will uncheck the locked in time as you can see if you will change the separate and you will try to access this thing it's not available so it's only available in 3d path right now if we unlocked it from time and we will move it it will actually not be connected to this path with time okay so we can move it separately from the time and as you noticed on the timeline this keyframe actually not exists anymore on the timeline so when you have animation and you don't have uh, the keyframe on the timeline that actually might happen with your scene okay let's move on the fourth feature that i like in Toon Boom harmony let's create a peg let's set the pivot point for this peg let's create a keyframe on it and now when I select this pack here, I can right click and clone selected layers, drawings and timings. And what this will do actually, it will, let's set the pivot point for this peg. it will actually clone our layers and we will be able to do exactly the same on both pegs, but using just one peg. And I used this in my previous tutorial by connecting them together, having the same peg and with moving one, let's just do the same here. And by just selecting one, I was able to rotate them or move them in different way, more like a simulating the right now, uh, the Z depth if you want. Last thing that I'm doing sometimes very very rarely in Toon Boom Harmony you could see it in my green goblin animation where I move the board and the body was moving differently than the board but I did this by using one pegs and I just reversed the coordinates or as I'm calling it I sandwiched this duplicated peg. What I can do right now when I have this peg, let's set the pivot point again, I can select it, I can create one more peg and I can press 4, 5 to mirror it and I can copy and paste this peg and sandwich my duplicated peg. And what will happen now, you can actually do this type of motion and I just found a funny thing to do if you will do like a bee swarm you can actually duplicate a little uh, more of the bees connect them and move the swarm with one peg but, but with within the swarm you can just use one peg to move all of the bees that might be fun uh, i found it a little bit tricky to use particles for that type of animation and maybe this thing will be helpful for bee swarm or flying bees or flies around uh, i really like it you can also do the same for the rotation but if you want to do it for the rotation you don't need the peg underneath let me show you what i mean let's create one more peg let's set the pivot flip it and as you can see it's flipped but if i will move it here the rotation will be flipped as well so in order to unflip this image you will actually have to go into this image open the tool properties and flip this image to have what you want to have with flipped image and that's my five favorite features about pegs in Toon Boom Harmony hope you like it and see you See you on the next video. Cheers!